Hello, I'm Fleur from the Church of the Good Shepherd and I'm going to be reading you the last part of the Nativity story and I'm reading it from The First Christmas and this book is illustrated by Jane Swift and adapted by Marie Birkinshaw. Some wise men from the east had seen a bright new star in the sky and knew it was a sign that an important king had been born. They decided to follow the star to see where it led them. They travelled for many days and nights and eventually arrived in Jerusalem. They thought a king would be born in a palace, so they went straight to the King Herod and asked if they could see the baby. King Herod was surprised to hear the news and very annoyed. He was a jealous man and didn't want another king in his land. He had to think of a way to get rid of the baby. I'll show you the pictures. There we go. They're the three wise men following the star. And there they are talking to King Herod. King Herod was a nasty man, wasn't he? King Herod called together all his clever advisers and asked them if they knew where this new king could be found. In Bethlehem, they answered. King Herod then ordered the three wise men to go to Bethlehem. He pretended that he wanted to see the baby too. He told the wise men that as soon as they had found out exactly where the child was, they were to return to Jerusalem to Jerusalem to tell him. That night the wise men saw the bright star again and followed it all the way to Bethlehem. There we go, I'll show you the pictures there. That's it. They had a long way to travel, didn't they, the wise men? The star led them to a little house where Mary and Joseph and baby Jesus were now staying. The wise men were overjoyed to see the baby and offered him gifts of gold, frankincense and myrrh. Mary thought these were very strange gifts for her baby, but she and Joseph were very grateful and thanked the wise men. Here we go. So there's Mary and Joseph's new house where they're staying. There's the gifts, the gold, frankincense and myrrh. And there they are, the three wise men, offering their gifts to baby Jesus. Just as the wise men were about to head back to Herod's palace, God spoke to them and warned them about Herod's plan. So instead of returning to Jerusalem, they went home. King Herod was furious when he realised that the wise men weren't coming back. He told his soldiers to search every house in Bethlehem for the child. But Joseph and his family were no longer in the town. They were already on their way to Egypt. God had sent an angel to warn them. Hurry, the angel had said, you must go to Egypt where you will be safe. So Joseph had packed up their belongings and he, Mary and Jesus had left at once. There we go. There's Herod's soldiers searching Bethlehem. But there are Joseph and Mary and baby Jesus on their way to escape to Egypt. Some time later, when they learned that Herod had died, Joseph, Mary and Jesus went back home to Nazareth. There, Jesus was safe and happy and enjoyed playing with his friends. Jesus also liked to spend time in Joseph's workshop and quickly learnt how to be a good carpenter. As Mary watched Jesus at work, she thought about his special birth in Bethlehem, about the shepherds, Simeon and the wise men. God had promised that Jesus would grow up to be a special king. Mary knew that one day his promise would come true. There we go. Of course, Jesus was just like 
you and me, he was a little child, baby, then a child, and playing with his friends. And there he is, learning to be a carpenter, like his earth daddy, Joseph. Over the years, Mary watched as, Jews, as Jesus grew up to be God's king. Not a royal king on a throne, but a leader, teacher and healer for the world. There we go. There's pictures of all the special, amazing things that Jesus did. And most importantly, that he died on the cross for us. And we remember that at Easter time. How amazing that God has sent his son Jesus to be with us, born in Bethlehem as a little baby, but our saviour, the light of the world. Bye for now.